Your morning starts now. It's the Q102 Jeff and Jen podcast brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. So Trevor is looking for a second date update with a lady named Lucy. Hey, Trevor, how are you? Good. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Happy to have you. So let's start from the beginning. Why don't you tell us about Lucy and how that first date went? So I met this girl on Tinder, and she was amazing, right? Great chemistry right off the bat. We started uh, FaceTiming and Zooming with each other, and beautiful, even though that's, right, I don't want to sound shallow, but she was happened to be beautiful, which was great, too, and very funny. And uh, we decided to finally meet in person, and we decided on a place not too far from my apartment, had a few beers, it was going really well, and we headed over to my apartment. And it was very obvious that intentions were the same on both sides, and it was very, very hot, hot and heavy, and she's so cool, right? So I was hoping it would be maybe more than a one-night stand, maybe going forward, but like friends with benefits or occasional booty call. And uh, <laughs> it was kind of obvious that that's what it could be, to me at least, and it seemed like she was into it. And... I had every indication at the end that we were going to see each other again. And I said, all right, I'll give you a text or a call. I said, exactly. But she said, sure, no problem. Next day or maybe the day after that, I called, I texted. I think I even sent her an email and nothing. Wow. That's so, the total outreach there. Hmm. Call, text, and email. <laughs> the trifecta, the right? trinity. I really like her, you know? So, uh you know, I was hoping you guys maybe could help me out and figure out what I did or said or I don't know. I didn't feel like anything went wrong. Hmm. Yeah, that covers it top to bottom, man. I don't have any follow-up questions. Because I just think, like, if she wasn't, she was there the whole night? Yeah, I mean, we didn't get back to my place till like, 1 in the morning, but it was, like, 7, 8 when she left. So, yeah, I mean, that pretty much is the whole night from when we met. Okay. Yeah. It's not like she bolted out of there, right? No, I mean, (laughs) no, not at all. So she slept a little bit before she went, or did you keep her up all night? (laughs) <laughs> no, if I made 100% honest, we did sleep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a break then. When we come back, we'll call Lucy and see what she thought of Trevor and her night with him as we continue. Next, second date update, Cincinnati's Q102. All right, Trevor meets Lucy on Tinder. Uh, she's awesome. So much fun. Funny. That's a big part of it. Humor, sense of humor is important, right, guys? absolutely it's number one on my list same and it makes you like way sexier sometimes than you might be just in general there you go (laughs) so they went out for a few beers ended up back at your apartment right trevor yeah it was at my place pretty hot and heavy she stayed the entire night you kind of went into this open-minded like hey this could be something this could be nothing but after that experience i think you were open to maybe exploring the possibility of a relationship i mean you'd be happy with a friends with benefits situation agreement Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. But if it morphed into more, do you think? Sure. I mean, again, she seemed fantastic. It was weeks before we met and on the phone all the time. So I got to know her pretty well in that way. Yeah. And right up until the very end, she seemed open to hanging out again. You didn't get any weird vibe from her? Absolutely none. Uh, that's why I'm so surprised. Did you send her out with a cup of coffee and a banana? <laughs> Actually, she did take an orange. That's pretty funny. And uh, we had a nice long kiss as she left, too. So I- I- I'm truly confused. Huh. Do you figure if something was wrong or she had no intention of ever seeing this guy again, she wouldn't be so friendly on the exit, right? Yep. Yeah, unless, you know, the evening for her was just kind of, eh, it's good enough for one night, but not necessarily want to repeat this yeah you're sweet you're sweet you're cute you're fun i enjoyed my time but i'm done not saying that happened no i'm saying it's just a possibility but you know anything's possible okay anything else you think we need to know trevor before we call her up not that i can think of okay let's call lucy Hi, Lucy. Yeah? It's Jeff, Jen, Fritch, and Tim at Q102. How are you doing this morning? Jeff and Jen on Q102? (laughs) Yep. 
<laughs> radio station, do a morning show, and we got you on speakerphone. How are you? Um, I guess I'm confused with figuring it out. I feel like I think I know what might be happening here. Yes, we do this a lot. We do it on a daily basis. Second date update. Yeah. You've got an admire. We got a call about you. And right. uh, we just wanted to see what was up. You know who we're calling about? Yeah, I'm just really kind of surprised that he would call because it didn't seem like he was that type of guy that would do something like that. But okay. What what type of guy does call second date update? I I don't think a type of guy I would date. No. Oh, whoa. Why but, do you, you say know, that? It's fine. I mean, I don't think that like a radio show is the right way to confront some something, you know, someone about something. So I don't know. It's just strange to me, but it's fine. I'll talk. That's what he wants. Yeah. Cool. I mean, we don't want this to feel like a confrontation here. It's just that he was left with the impression that you guys got along great. And he said right up until the very end, apparently you guys shared a kiss and you seemed open to seeing him again. So when he reached out to set something up and you went radio silent, it did leave him scratching his head. You want to fill us in on what's been going yeah. on? You've just been busy? What's up? Um, Not so much. I mean, I, I have been busy, yeah. But, like, basically, I mean, look, I had a great time with him. Like, he's not lying about that. Like, we had great chemistry. We had an awesome day. We had, like, actually talked a bunch before we actually met up in person. So there was already kind of this connection, and I was really excited to meet him. Um, you know, he was really cool. And like, yeah, like I said, the chemistry was great. And I did honestly see potential. But then like, you know, when I was over at his house, and the heat of the moment had passed, and the lights came on, I saw that like, he sleeps on Pokemon sheets. And I was just like, seriously, dude, like, <laughs> why, why would a 25 year old dude like still sleep on Pokemon sheets and like have the matching pillowcases and the matching throw blanket on top. Like it was just like a turn off. Like really? <laughs> Pokemon sheets. Maybe they're just in the rotation. He's got some nice ones from Target that are just in the wash. Or it's left over from like college, maybe or high school. Hmm. Or middle well, because school. My other I mean, sheets are at my mom's house. The one oh, now. There he is. Because my other sheets are at my mom's house. I don't have a washer and dryer. That's what this is about. I don't have a washer and dryer. Who cares what kind of sheets they I, they, they work? So wait, tell me, <laughs> tell me where the Pokemon like, sheets came from. And why is your mom washing your sheets? Like <laughs> that's what matters to you. That's how shallow you are. I had the sheets from when I was a kid. They work. They fit on the bed. My washer and dryer. I, I'm in between right now. No, I, I I think it's like it's very strange to like turn it back on me that it's because I'm shallow. Like 25 year old men like do not sleep in the same sheets they slept in as like 10 year olds. You know that's not normal. Like you, you say that you don't have a washer and dryer, but as I was exiting, there was a laundromat one block from your house. I remember walking by and thinking, "Wow, okay." So I got definitely... a laundromat no. when my mom could do them for free. Does that make sense? Is that the kind of person you want to be with that wastes money? I so, mean, I don't want to be with a dude that relies on his mother to do everything for him. Wow, Lucy. Okay. All right. So you're not Fine. going over Thanks. to your mom's house and doing your own laundry. You're dropping your laundry off and your mom does it for you? Occasionally. Okay. Hey, if your mom's willing, I'm in the camp. If your mom's willing to do it, she wants to do it. She loves to do it. Some moms are like that. Some, Some moms, moms do like it, to right? feel needed. Absolutely. Yeah. I have no issue with that. My mom would probably do mine. I honestly, know. like if I went over there on a Friday and said, hey, do you think you could have these things done by Sunday? She'd be like, yeah, <laughs> I can have it done tomorrow. Hey, she might be willing to do yours, too. She's like, I'm going to need a few days, so why don't you take your old Pokemon sheets to tide you over until these are ready. It's true. By the way, I just did a little quick Google search on Pokemon sheets, and Walmart sells them in all kinds of different patterns. And, oh, I like it. Yeah. What a steal. Is it in the How much kids are they? Section? Uh, it might be in the kids section. Yeah, they range from uh, 55 to $65, depending on what's What's the thread price? count, does it say? Yeah, is it a decent well, thread they're, count? Well, you know, there are microfibers. Oh. So. Uh, Oh. Egyptian Pokemon? Yeah, that'd be better. Well, it doesn't sound like a match here listening to Lucy's disgust with <laughs> Trevor's 
sheets and where yeah. he gets his laundry done. Yeah. yeah, I can't. I mean, if you think there's a possibility you're going to be bringing somebody home, get the Pokemon off the bed. Yeah. That would have been the first thing out of my mouth. Nice sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so turned off. Like, it was just like killed the moment. You know, we had mm. just had this awesome moment and then the lights come on and I'm like, wow. Oh, I feel yeah. like dirty now. Like, I feel like, yeah, weird. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Trevor. Her loss, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, you're a good guy for coming on, putting yourself out there. And, Lucy, thank you for taking the call. We do appreciate uh, at least giving us an explanation. Of course. You have a good one. Yeah, you too. Take you it easy. do. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy.